Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10 generic brand galaxy start. I did the alien planet uh, for my start, and we are now, uh, after building a little <laughs> CV base and then evolving that into a full fledged little CV, um, we've come up to space and built this base, and now I want to start moving ahead on really doing some base attacks on a harder planet, but the only way to do that right now is actually with a, I need, <clears throat> I need an SV, I need an SV, I gotta, <sighs> I, got, I want to take over some POIs on the on Aqua down there and salvage them. And I can't do that currently. So we're going to make, well, we're going to spawn in an SV. It's an SV that I had already made in, in experimental. And so let's do that. I don't know if it's going to, it is an Alpha 10 machine, so let's see, my SV Fin Fighter, where the hell is it? There it is. Okay, so it's not cheap, it's level 17, as you can see it's not cheap, but it's got a few features on it that I want, so I'm bringing it in. So we're going to send that to the factory, and we currently do have a bunch of Neo in the factory, that's good. And so that was from before when we uh, um, spawned in the, what did we spawn, what did we have Neo? Oh, it was the turret, right? I think it was the turret that we spawned in. Anyway, <clears throat> today what we're going to do is we're going to use our loot that we already have and... No, I don't want that one. Which one is it? This one blocks, yeah, because it's got all this stuff here. So instead of connecting to ingots, we're going to reconnect to blocks. And yeah, Gatling guns, they can go. Steel blocks, who cares? Windows, we'll throw those in. Elevator blocks, that's all good. Um, Combat steel, why not? More steel blocks. Well, let's should go there. Sure, hangar doors, why not? Plasma cannons, yeah. Hopefully that'll be enough to make up the uh, arrest room Zascosium. So we're going to put... Actually, I'm going to hold off on that. Let's put the T3 in. I haven't put any of these in yet, so we'll see. I want to get rid of all this stuff first. <clears throat> Okay, so Gatling guns, I reduced it by three minutes and didn't add much. Steel blocks, 23 steel blocks, reduced it by a minute and didn't add much. Windows, reduced it by two minutes and had an impact on the silicone. Elevator blocks, no reduction in time. One combat steel block, no reduction in time. Uh, hangar door? One minute. Four plasma cannons. Actually, here, let's do one at a time. <laughs> or two at a time. Here we go. Boom. Oh, yeah. See, we're going to need it all. We're going to need it all. Let's just throw them all in. And boom. Yep. Keep going. Throw this crap in. And, well, we're getting there. See, we are knocking the time down. Okay, so let's keep grabbing stuff. Uh, small two, sure. Armored door, yeah. Combat steel, yes. Container extensions, of course. Throwing all this crap that we're not using now. We'll just throw it all. It might not actually take that, but we'll see. And this stuff. <clears throat> 
And come on, reduce the time, really? Oh, you... Really? Come on. No. There we go. Well, it's adding up, but the time isn't really going down very well, is it? Okay. So we do have a couple more things to throw in before we get our panties in an uproar. And I'll throw those in last. There we go. We broke the one hour mark. Now we're going to count down. We can see that it's actually reducing time. Okay, let's try. We're not going to put all of these in at once. Try 19. Ooh, reduce time. Where's the sathium? We don't want to go too much over. And more, 19 more. Eh. Okay, 38. Oh, it is reducing time decently. And you know what? We're going to need like another 38. Oh yeah, we're getting down in time. Well, let's get the sathium counts going up. Uh, I think we're going to need the whole freaking thing. Let's, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't too much. Okay, but we did knock down quite a bit of time now. So that's good. That's good. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now then, because it's going to be an hour to cook up, what I'd rather do <clears throat> is go into my advanced constructors, because they're advanced constructors, they're so much faster. Uh, oh, let's take a look at what we actually needed here. What are we really short on? We've got a lot of iron to go, a lot of cobalt to go. A lot of carbon substrate. A lot of copper. So cobalt, iron, copper substrate, and carbon substrate and copper. <sighs> what uses that? That's like... Hanger doors, energy matrix, electronics, motors. Yep. Now let's make let's make some of those. We'll make five of those in that one, and then we'll try something different over here. Um, needs neo, flux coil, cobalt alloy. Mechanical components, energy matrix, flux coil, hardened steel plates, motor, capacitor device, and repair console. Oh, God, that needs a lot of stuff. Okay, so let's make one of those. And then we'll make one of those. And <clears throat> I think we'll probably have to make one of those. <laughs> no, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, let's see how this is coming along. We've got two of these. So. And, oh, yeah. See, that was a big, big time reduction. And I don't think it took that long to make them. Do we have any? Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Okay. Well, is this one still? Okay, that one's got that one built. And then we've got... Wow, it takes a long time to build these uh, repair consoles. Holy crap. <clears throat> Uses a lot of resources to make one, too. Holy... Okay, let's see how this one's doing. Getting there. Oh, it's got two more made. Let's 
So yeah, it's 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 actually doing cobalt the whole thing. Well, actually, it's adding to everything. It seems it's it's a good. Those hangar doors are actually not bad. Uh, and then how was this going? Oh, we've got a hangar door and a repair console. So let's take a look at that. Nice. So we'll throw the hangar door in. And the repair console. Ooh, that knocked down our time quite a bit. And we're getting close on the restroom Zascosium, just over 100 in each needed. And the Neo is almost there, 10 Neo left. Okay. So that furnace is going to cap that out. The Neo is going to cap out from the furnace. It might cap the Sathium out too. That's fine. That's fine. It's almost built. We'll just let it do its thing. <clears throat> and then this one. Um, well, you know what? Those hangar doors really, they're, they seem to be working. So we'll make 10 more of those. Okay. And how's that going? Oh, it's almost built. So we'll see how that works throwing that in. Might as well throw that in too. Why not, right? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Furnace. Capped out the Neo. Knocking the time down. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, tw almost 25. We've we've knocked the time down substantially. Almost an hour now on the on how long it was originally. So that is good. And we've got another one of these. And I guess we should figure out what the other constructor sh cons constructor should build. That one's doing the hangar doors. Let's get this one going on. Uh, we don't need any of that crap. Okay, so. <clears throat> trying to find stuff that is cobalt nanotubes. Oh, look at that. Let's make a couple of short range warps. Polarized hull, power flux coil. No. Polarized hull for HV. Flux coils, power coil. Jeez, capacitors. Pentaxid <laughs> uh, tank. Oh, look at that. Lots of cobalt. Let's make, let's make, make one of those too. There we go. Okay. So it made a bunch more of these. Excellent. And the time is definitely coming down. I mean, what, if I can get the time down to, to one second, then I, I'll just throw ingots in and finish it off. Right. So we're getting there. We still need a lot of uh, a lot of copper, a lot of cobalt, and a lot of iron. Okay, that's fine. Let's throw these in then. Get that in there. Get that in there. Oh yeah, we're getting getting some cobalt action happening now. <clears throat> and the time is substantially getting knocked down. Okay, what was the other one making? I want them both making stuff. Okay, that one's still going, that's fine. And then this one just finished the Pentaxid tank. Um Yeah, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure at this point. Uh, huh. Okay. 
Let's grab what we can, throw that in. Okay. Oh yeah, we're knocking it down really good now. We're almost halfway with the cobalt. Iron count's getting good. And... So let's do... You know what? We'll do 10 on this guy too. So they're both going to make uh, hangar doors at this point. Okay. And then how is that? Good. We'll grab that. And it is get adding to the carbon substrate too, which is good. It's good. Okay. And oh, come on. So we've got that one done. Just make a few more just to keep it busy. And then got one more here. That's fine. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep plugging away at this, and then when it's ready to spawn in, I will come and grab you guys. Okay, the blueprint notification just said that it is ready, so let's get this spawned in. Uh, you can see I had to eat up, eat into my ingots a bit too, uh, but I did get it down to about uh, three minutes before... Um, I just put the rest in with ingots because, it, you know, three minutes, who cares? <clears throat> okay, so let's do this. It's ready to spawn in an SP. Yay! Okay, so where can we put it? Right here. Looks good. There we go. And it's going to do that funky video thing, isn't it? Okay, I'll be right back. Well, there she is, the fin fighter. So I haven't really painted her, a little bit of texturing, that's about it. Uh, I might just leave her white. Okay, so it's got uh, four plasma cannons. It's got four of the homing rocket launchers. It's got six miniguns. It's got... Uh, all the amenities constructor, yes, it's got a sealed <laughs> cockpit inside of another cockpit. Uh-huh, I know. That is, it can, this thing can take a beating. It's got shields. Uh, all this is bulkhead, basically. So, they got to blast their way through a lot of stuff just to get to the cockpit. Well... Let's get this thing stocked. So let's, uh, here, I'll just grab my stuff back here. We need to see what it needs. It needs 15 mil bullets, 135 mil HMSLs, and plasma charges. Okay, so I have plasma cannon. Good, so I can make plasma cannon charges. Um, and what else? The hover vessel. I wanted to make sure I have the drill turret there, or the drill good. And really, that's about it right now. Okay. And I'm not too much worried about the other weapons right now. Here and now, weapons. Okay. So that means we need to make the ammo. So let's do that. We've got fuel going into there. Good. So we can. Um, put ammo in ammo, right? We already have. Plasma charge SVs, a bunch of those. Oh, look at that, like a thousand. Sweet! From looting them. 
that's awesome. Got some 15 mil bullets, and then we wanted 135 H MSLs. I don't think we'll have any of those. No, that's fine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to make those. One thirty, one thirty-five millimeter H MSL. There we go. So one is worth seven. Okay, so it makes seven. So ten is seventy. Twenty is one forty. Thirty. So ten, twenty, thirty. So that's going to be working on the missiles. I don't know how much. Oh yeah, we've got lots of magnesium. That should be just fine. Just fine. Okay. And then... Plus, I think we actually had... Magnesium powder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what else do we need? We need the... One... F 15 mil. The 15 mil. So, let's make some more 15 mil. Let's make like, like 5,000. Oh, I don't want that going in the blocks. We can put that in ammo. Okay. And then those are both making our fuel. And then we also have the food processor making... Emergency rations, and we could probably eat some of these meat burgers. Nice. I can take those with me now. Those actually have mass to them, so I'm not going to grab those. Uh, we don't need that. That's the wrong type of rocket. I don't want the minigun rounds. Don't really need the texture tool at this point. I'll keep the laser pistol rounds on me because that's what we are using and the homing rocket rounds because that's what we're using. Yeah. And then so the fuel. Now I'm pretty sure this thing has has shields and I'm pretty sure I put Wi-Fi in it let's take a look there's a detector uh, what no equipment oh yeah and Wi-Fi okay good <clears throat> Okay, we should be good to go. So let's grab our stuff. And, oh, do we need to make... No, no, we don't need to. Let's just transfer stuff into it now. So we want the fin fighter. So we've got a single cargo box worth 125, another one worth 250, another one worth 250, a container controller worth 7,500. Although I don't know if I'll have the enough power to actually warrant having that volume because SVs can't lift shit. Uh, and 18, okay, we can fit a lot of ammo in too then. Fridge space. Okay, so we've got tons of cargo space. We're not going to be able to we're not going to be able to lift that much. I think that's probably too much. The 7500k or yeah, so 7.5 KSU I think is going to be more than sufficient. Although I don't I do know a trick if we need to take off with a full stack. Anyway, let's load this thing up. So we want the fin fighter fuel. You know what? I'm just going to throw a bunch of this crap in here right now to get it off of me. Base, we want fuel. Fill that right up. Nice. 
and then oxygen. I put that with the water, yeah. Okay, so I think we should take a little bit with us, right? So we're going to take like 20 bottles with us. And... Actually, we can take those 21. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now we want the ammo box, and want ammo, so we want that, and that, and that, and that, <laughs> and that, and that, and that, oh, wow, that stuff is heavy, and that. Wow, I'm glad I made a fairly decent size ammo box. Okay, should I... I probably got lots of plasma charges now, right? I don't need any more, more of those. We're probably good. I think we're good. Um, although, is it still making bullets for me? No. <clears throat> okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's... Um, We've got 10 iron rations. Okay. Okay, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going down to the planet and we're going to smash the patrol vessel. And that reminds me, we need to make a bunch of cores. Let's make a bunch of cores. Oh. Grab those out of there. No, we don't need 10 cores. I need like five is good. I actually only really want to grab like one right now. That's all I'm worried about. Okay. <clears throat> Let's grab that. Okay. Let's put that down here. Go into there. There we go. Oops. Didn't mean to launch that. Let's go. I think I've got enough food on me. Yeah, I've got enough food on me. I've got that fuel in the ship. We've got O2 in the ship, even though that the ship Aqua doesn't really need. Um Yeah, I know, it's got no windows. Okay, this thing is actually quite the... Oh, I need Pentaxid. I need Pentaxid. Oops. I need refined Pentaxid. What am I doing? Oops. Can't get out. go. So we need refined pentaxid. Uh, don't know how much we can hold in the in the tank. That'll make 20, 40. Plus it needs it for its warp fuel too, so no, we'll just make a bunch of it. We do have quite a bit, so I think it requires four to charge up the shields, so let's make sure we've got at least like 40, so we can recharge them 10 times, I think. Okay, good enough. Let's grab that. So, let's go into the container controller. We'll grab that, and that, actually, no, we want to put that into, straight into the Pentaxa tank. And, oh, we can actually have quite a bit in there. But, what? Why did it, I had 40 in there. Why did it, oh, it consumed it. Right, right. Because, shields. <laughs> like, wait, wait, why did it just consume one? Because it's supposed to. 
Okay, so now our shields should be starting to charge up. There they go. 85%, 100%. If we look at here, <clears throat> it shows them now at 100%. Um, yeah, excellent. So we are ready to go. Uh, there, the, it ate up the four pentaxid like I said it was going to. So now we've got shields and we can load up the miniguns. We'll load up the cannons and we'll load up them as rocket launchers. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I know we're about to leave that. I'll just turn off my break and we will coast. Well, this is probably a good spot to leave it at, to tell you the truth. Now that we're all equipped, we're ready. We're going to go down. We're going to find the patrol vessel. We're going to nuke it. And we're going to multi-tool it down to nothing. And then we're going to nuke a couple of POIs and uh, the, uh, the outer defenses of them. Then we'll bring the CV down and we'll actually infiltrate them by hand. And uh, yeah, we should have fun with that. We haven't actually penetrated a, a base yet by hand, so um, that'll be good. That'll be good. The uh, the root beer factory doesn't count. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what are you? What are you? What are you? Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, buddy. What are you? Gold. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think we need to go back and mine that up. <laughs> well, I know where it is now. That's not a big deal. We'll just, uh... <sighs> Let's take the plunge. Take the plunge. Try and find the patrol vessel. in enemy territory? Nope, but there is stuff around. Nope, stuff disappearing. Okay. Well, this is cool. So, wow, what is that? That looks weird. Not really sure. quite sure what that is. Oh, those are rocks in the ocean. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave the episode off here. I'm going to scout the planet in my um, SV here. And next episode, I will have some targets for us to take on. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.